Hey everybody, it's Michael here, and um, I'm going to be doing a video today on how to use some of the basic commands for moderators on my server. Um, these will include uh, log block and world edit, which is mainly what it's over, um, maybe a few other things. But I'm going to have uh, Brian here as viewers to help me. Yep. And um, I guess let's just get started. So, um, Brian, go break a couple of blocks at spawn. Alright, alright. Break it under K. Oh, yeah. Drop Kenny down in that glass. Alright, that's enough, I guess. Um, so, to find out who broke a block in a certain area that was griefed, um, you type slash LB tool block. And it gives you this uh, one piece of bedrock, and with the bedrock, you place it in the area that was griefed, um, like so. And it comes up with a log in the side of the screen in the chat. And it shows you who destroyed and who created glass in that area that was um, empty. So with that, you can tell who to, like, um, grief the house and tore it down to the ground. Um, uh, there's also, um, you can also uh, left click it. What the hell are you doing? What the hell is Kenny doing? Um... Uh, you can also left click it and it will um, tell you who placed a block or um, created something uh, which is also what LB tool does they're both have the same purpose and um, I think uh, when you right click with the LB tool it does the same thing as um, left clicking uh, yeah it does so um, uh, Brian just go place a bunch of random blocks everywhere in like a little certain area for me all right Alright, I guess that's enough. Um, so, to find out who placed a block, you do slash LB tool, which I already have. And um, it gives you a wooden pickaxe, unless I change it in the config. I may change it to like a, an egg or something, I don't know. But um, it originally gives you a wooden pickaxe, and with the wooden pickaxe, you right or left click on the item that was placed. And it comes up with the log, which is a little bit laggy. And here you can see it's in the side of the screen. So, um, that's it for the two basic commands of, uh, log block. There's also, um, chest access commands and rollback commands, which we'll do. <coughs> so, um, let me get myself a chest. Er, um, Brian, do you have any, uh, objects on you? Um, yeah, wait, let me show you my game mode. What do you need? Uh, just place a bunch of random shit in that chest. Okay. Oh, I can't. Oh, um, I just here I got it. There we go. Uh, oh wait, hold on. There. God damn it, Josh keeps calling me. Um. Uh, so here, try to place some more blocks inside my chest because I removed the protection. Brian. Hmm? Yes? Place more blocks in that chest. Uh, sure. There you go. Right. There we go. Um, so to find out who placed blocks in a chest, you're going to want to do slash LB, um, chest access which is a param uh you can access the params list by doing slash lv params let me correct that i spelled access wrong um and then you can do a certain time if you want if you know it was stolen in like the past three hours you can do time uh three hours and then if it's uh just one chest you can do area and do area one and it'll say uh, searching results for uh, the chest and the world, which we won't use this for our server because we have LWC, so nobody can really steal stuff from your chest. So um, it will come up with no results. And um, let's move on from that. Oops. Uh, now we can get into the rollback part of the video. Um, uh, for rollback, it's basically just um, redoing everything or... Um, undoing everything that the griefer has done and um 
it can be whoever placed a block you can undo it or whoever griefed it you can undo it to its original state so um to do this you have to do slash lv rollback and the player's name who griefed so for instance this time it was um brian or viewers yep and then um i'm such a, certain... a naughty cre uh, griefer <laughs> and then a certain time uh, i think mine was in like the past 10 minutes i'll say um so player viewers and time 10 minutes you can do a certain area too if you want in 30 surrounding blocks or so which i'll do just in case and um enter that and uh, it'll come up with this on the side of your screen. It'll say searching for the block changes from blah, 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 and all the params you entered. Then it'll say how many blocks are found and ask you if you want to continue. And just type slash yes if you want to, and it will roll back everything that was all done. So it just rolled back all that, and the griefing over here was rolled back. Um, if you want to delete the rollback log, just I would say yes because you just don't want to keep the extra stuff in the config. Um, so now we can get into world edit. Um, Brian, I don't think I'm going to need you for this. I may not, but, um, just in case, build, like, a mini little hut over here for one part of the section. Um, like? Like a little mini house. We're not really going to keep it, but just build it over there so I can show them how to protect houses. Alright, so now we're going to get into world edit, uh, one of the few basic commands. Uh, with this, you can um, activate the wand by using slash slash wand, and um, it will give you a wooden axe. And with this axe, you can select current points and um, like by right-clicking and left-clicking. So if I right-click on this block, it will come up and um, uh, on the side, second position set. And if I walk all the way over here and left click it, it'll say first position set and that's a cuboid area that I just selected. And I can change it to a certain um, uh, block. So say I want to change it to um, cobblestone, I do slash slash set uh, four, which is the item ID for cobblestone. And I enter that and ta -da, it comes up with cobblestone. We can do it for almost any item in the game but uh that's easy for building spawn or houses really quickly so you can undo it also by doing slash slash undo and it will roll back everything that was just done um there's also a couple more commands from world edit that aren't exactly world edit um like that you can do um you can drain water or lava from certain areas by using slash slash dr drain um and then the area around you say two and it will drain two blocks like it just did uh there's also extinguish which will extinguish fire um let's get some fire all right so there's fire over here you can do slash slash ex and it extinguishes all the flames which is very handy and um those are some of the basic ones. There's nothing too important in World Edit you need to know. Um, other than that, there's uh, also World Guard, which is going to be the last uh, command we're going <laughs> to be doing today. Um, <laughs> this is a beautiful house, Brian. Thank you. Uh, so with, I think this is World Guard, I'm pretty sure, but um, you're going to, uh, if you want to protect somebody's houses for them so nobody can grief it, uh, you just... Let's see, let's select the house's area first um, with the wand. Um, let's slash up two. All right, you select the area of the house and go all the way down. There we go. Um, now that it's selected in that cube area, the whole area is selected inside, so that means the house and everything in it is protect or, uh, selected. So, um... If you want to uh, protect it all the way down to bedrock or expand it to bedrock, do slash slash expand vert, which expands it vertically up and down, so from the ground to the sky. Um, now to protect the house, you do uh, slash region expand, or uh, not expand, um, define. Let me fix that. Region, define, and then the name of the region, so let's name it shack. 
and after this you put the owners who um of the region so those are the people that can build in the region so let's put me um uh brian and yeah i guess that's it so uh now it's saved to shack i will i'll demote myself now i guess or i don't think i can um um uh here let me demote you and you try to um break i can already break it though oh yeah you can break it my bad uh let me get kane Kenny. There we go. Uh, God damn it, Kenny left. Oh yeah, he did leave. Um, well, basically it's just proving that you cannot break a block in here. Um, so that's how you do most of the basic commands for moderator. And um, hope you learned something from this video if you watched the whole thing. Uh, which you should have done, but, um, I guess this is the end of the, god damn it, Josh, this is the end of the video, so, um, uh, later.